And we got a video here. We got a borderline movie. What we got going on, man. A whole motion picture of my man going to prom. We can roll that clip, man. It was something spectacular. A movie. Tune in, man. We need some popcorn. Check it out, man. He got money. That boy not playing yeah, around at all. Way too professional. They had a drone, wow. too? <laughs> <laughs> they had a drone? You feel me? Those are, those are just memories G will never have. <laughs> I know the fast was checking it, checking out everybody's tweets right now, making sure you're not getting no money because you out here spending thousands of dollars on your dress. You out here spending even more on your whip. The tucks with no with, with capris, <laughs> we see it all. So you're just not getting no fun. So watch what you put on Twitter, people. Watch what crazy. you put on the gram because the government is watching. What up, what up, man? We got to talk about Kanye in the news, man. Wanted to put the word, the N word. In the title of every song of Watch the Throne. Now y'all remember this classic album he dropped with Hove, man. It was it was crazy. We saw In Words in Paris. We saw songs like Otis, No Church in a While. And think about all these titles. <laughs> he wanted to put the N-word <laughs> in every single last one of them. That man wasn't playing, but, but he was trying to make a statement. Uh, in doing so, he said his efforts um, were for people to have to confront the word. To, to yeah, people of all races and creeds. To come across that song, man, we got the two hottest people on the planet as far as rap music goes. Everybody gonna be jamming the album. Hey, man, play that. You gotta say the word. You feel me? So that's what he wanted. Pete. That's what he. That's the vibe that he wanted to um, put with this album, man. A lot of controversial stuff, man. But Jay Z was not having it. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Z put a stop to all that, man. He, the CEO minded, business minded guy that he is, he he was not with it, and he went for a compromise. So the thing that he suggested was. All right, we're not going to put the N-word on every single track. Kanye, you bugging. You know what I'm saying? Kanye known for that a little bit. But he went for the compromise and said, all right, we'll put it on in words and periods, which is probably the most, one of the most popular songs. Yeah, 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 I'll probably. So, uh, <coughs> I, can, I can feel that, man. But how do y'all feel about that, man? Would you, how do y'all think that would have went N-word on every single track? I, I definitely think it would have gave the people something to talk about. Yeah. But I feel like it wouldn't have been something and you would have saw and be like oh my goodness i can't believe he did that because i mean people are already saying the word you know how many white girls out here saying the word now yeah man it's a different time like it's just like it's just a normal thing for them that's why so it's just i feel like the word is just part of everyone's vocabulary now so i feel like it wouldn't even been anything out of the ordinary they're gonna say it in a rap song anyway, anyway yeah. so so what what the title ain't gonna make a difference that's your I thing i feel like it would have Think I so. feel like the black culture would have been all over it. Just, oh yeah, no question. It just would have been all over it. Just been all mad. No, I feel like, I feel like black culture wouldn't have had a problem with it. I feel yeah, like white no. culture would have had a problem He's with it. He's saying that. Uh, no, let me talk for you. But I feel like there would have been a backlash uh, once you got other races just dropping the N word like it ain't nothing. You know what I mean? So you hear that in the party. Hey, play that. Mm -mm -mm. What? Yeah, the whole party turn around. Somebody right. might get stumped out. You know, <laughs> just, just, just based off of that, man. So Kanye and Jay-Z prevented a disaster. Jay-Z prevented a disaster. Kanye wanted it bad. <laughs>